This short video is an overview of how to use the Transformation Advisor tool. The Transformation Advisor is a free tool from IBM that will help you to understand what it takes to transform WebSphere applications that are running on-prem to run on the cloud. The video is intended for administrators of traditional on-prem Liberty and WebSphere application servers and for programmers of J2E applications who are interested in moving to a cloud-based environment. Ideally, you will have had some experience with Java Enterprise Programming Models and Liberty and WAS administration. However, the tool is designed to be easy to use for the less technical among us and to highlight the high-level recommendations of applications that can be moved easily. It gives a rough estimation of cost and so can also be useful to project managers seeking quick guidance on project feasibility. The tool offers insight into how you can accelerate movement of existing applications to the cloud. It can help you determine what to move to the cloud and offer suggestions on how to get there. In short, it should help you answer these questions. What applications do I have on premise? Will they be easy or problematic to move? Which ones should I move first? And what resources and time will I need to invest? Thanks to the Transformation Advisor, there's now a fast, easy way to find out these answers with little effort. What I'm going to show you now is a quick demo of how to use Transformation Advisor. The first step is to answer some simple questions. The purpose of these questions is to gather some basic information on your current applications and environments and what your preferences are for your future environment. You will be asked if you have a preference for private or public cloud, if you want to move your data to the cloud, and if you want to use Liberty. If you're not sure of the answers at this point, it doesn't matter. You can redo this later and rerun. Once you select the answers to your questions, you can save your preferences and the system will generate a data collector. Once the data collector is generated, follow the instructions on the screen to run the data collector on your WAS environment. We recommend running the collector on a replica of production rather than on production itself. The data collector gathers information about applications in your environment. It identifies which profiles are associated with the WebSphere installation along with the installed WebSphere and Java versions and identifies all WebSphere applications. Data gathered through running the data collector is fed back to the Transformation Advisor tool. So once you download it, save your data collector, you may then FTP that data collector to the target environments and run the data collector. After some time, recommendations will be uploaded to the tool. Here's some recommendations already loaded from a run I did earlier. The Transformation Advisor combines the data collector results uh, with your preference that you specified in the first step and adds rules and insights to provide recommendations on degree of complexity involved in migrating applications to the cloud. So you'll see a table here listing all the apps that were found on the target server down the left hand side. You can hover over the eye at the top of the table to give you some more information on what each of these columns is telling you. So there's a lot of information here and even more detail when you drill down. But remember, this is the start of a journey and breaking it down is just the first step. You won't do everything in one go and there's some elements here that you may never transition to the cloud. But TA will help you get started by recommending the quickest and easiest to start transitioning. So the recommendations page lists each application that has been discovered and recommends the most suitable platform from four possible target platforms. Liberty on private cloud, Liberty on public cloud, traditional was on private cloud and traditional was on public cloud. Transformation Advisor tries to match each application that it finds to your preferred platform. When you see two green ticks, it means Transformation Advisor's recommendation are a match to your specified preference. Here we can see that Query is a match. The best platform to move to is Liberty, running on private cloud, which is also the one that was selected when the preference is received. The server environment that you see here refers to the application server, either Liberty or WebSphere, and the cloud location refers to the use of either a public or private cloud. 
You can see other useful information as well. The approximate amount of effort, for instance, that it will take to move to this configuration, possible issues, and any potential technology incompatibilities. Just a word on the dev effort estimates here. We can see there's an overhead, uh, and that is typically five days as the overhead for any transformation project, which involves setting up environments, uh, running tests, uh, etc. Then there's a unique dev cost associated with each application based on the issues that are found by the scanner in that ear file, uh, the number of classes, etc., and combined with the experience of IBM in the field performing these transformations for our customers. In some cases, Transformation Advisor may not recommend your preferred platform. You will see a red X in the recommendation, like has happened here. If we scroll down, we can see under EGP query test here, we've got a red X under the server environment. The recommendation provided is for WebSphere running on a private cloud as a virtual machine. The red X against the server environment means you specify a preference for a different application server. In this case, it was Liberty. The cloud location, which is a private cloud, is a match to your desired preference. To see why we are not recommending your preferred platform, we should select show more here. What happens is we expand out and show all the results for that particular ear file. So we list all the candidate platforms for your application in the recommended order. Items at the top we recommend the most and items at the bottom the least. Remember, we always try to match to your specified preferences, but sometimes applications are just not a good fit, usually because of possible technology incompatibilities. Some WebSphere applications may contain older technologies or rely on certain APIs that are not available in Liberty. When this occurs, further investigation is necessary to assess the migration to Liberty. In our case, you can see that Liberty has not been recommended for EGB query test. If we click on view details for this particular recommendation, we will see a warning sign here saying that the binary scanning has detected the presence of technologies that are not compatible. So these should be reviewed to confirm that the application is actually using these technologies. Because the scanner has found these technologies, it doesn't necessarily mean that your application is using them. So it is always worth doing a double check here. If you scroll down further, you will see the list of issues that were found. So just a quick word on the error warning symbols that are shown. So if you see a red circle with a white X, this is a severe issue that must be addressed. It's usually an API that's unavailable on the target platform or some behavior change that can break the app. A yellow triangle with an exclamation mark indicates a warning and indicates behavior changes that might break the application if migrated, and this should be evaluated. A blue circle with an eye is for informational purposes and indicates the use of a de deprecated API or minor behavior changes that will not affect most applications. So if we go back to our demo and we scroll to the end of the detailed information for this particular ear file, you'll notice along the bottom that there are three links to three more detailed reports, which dig deeper to understand the nitty gritty details of the migration. The detailed report helps with migration issues like deprecated or removed APIs, Java Standard Edition version differences, and Java Enterprise Edition behavioral differences. Please note that Transformation Advisor uses a rule system based on common occurring events seen in real applications to enhance the base reports and to provide practical guidance. As a result of this, some items may show a different severity here than they do in the Transformation Advisor. If we go back, we should be able to click on the technology report. So the technology report, again, comes from the data collector, the raw report, and it examines your application and generates this report, which shows which editions of WebSphere application server are best suited to run the application. The report provides a list of Java Enterprise Edition programming models that are used by the application, and it indicates on which platforms the application can be supported. And finally, the inventory report. So the inventory report helps you examine what's in your application, including number of modules and technologies in those modules. It also gives you a view of the utility jar files that are included in the application and potential deployment problems and performance considerations are also included. 
If you scroll down through, there's quite a lot of detail in these reports, and certainly it's worth consideration um, by uh, any developer that is going to be undertaking the migration project. The Transformation Advisor is available today for you to use on IBM Cloud Private Platform. IBM Cloud Private is available as a free community edition that can be downloaded from Docker Hub. It includes core platform and a catalogue of free content, including the Transformation Advisor. Thank you for listening and good luck with your transformation journey. You'll find further help and support on our Developer Works webpage. There will be a lot more information there and links to blogs. If you're looking for support, I'd encourage you to connect with us on Slack and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.